Hi. How you going? This is actually in my office. I'm sitting here. And I'm just going to talk about, uh, in Australia yesterday, the uh, carbon tax was actually removed uh, from the political world, if you like, from us, businesses. Um, my uh, power bill went right through the roof once this uh, uh, power tax came in, etc. So, in a sense, I'm pleased that it's been removed. Now, what I'm interested in at the moment is the thesis, if you like, the foundation, if you like, the idea is to try and save the planet. That's what all this really is about, isn't it? Use less coal, uh, use more new energy, use windmills, use solar panels, use all the other new energy stuff. And people are talking about, let's save the planet for our people in the future. Now it's very, very interesting that people say that because I'm a Christian, I serve the living God and what are we talking about from a Christian point of view? Now let's just have a think about from a Christian point of view. We are busy saying that we are going to save the planet, are we? That's what we're trying to do. Now what happens of course is mankind are basically going to destroy themselves. Now, you might say, oh, come on, Henry. Well, with God, there is no uncertainty. Now, you don't believe in God, do you? Many of you don't. You don't care about God. You couldn't care less. Okay, that's fine. But the Christian world, we are talking about the living God who created the world. Now, we have our Bible. Now, I've got it here somewhere. I'll pull it out here. This is the Bible. If you like, this is the... Uh, oops, I've actually got the wrong Bible. I've actually got the uh, Haley's Bible Handbook here. But let me just go here. This book here is the Bible that uh, we have billions of extracts are everywhere. This is the Bible I use. Uh, this one I actually like is the Revised Standard Version because when I did my studies, I did use this, which means I know where, the, uh, where it is on the book, you see, on the, in the chapters, you see. Anyway, having said this, this is what we as Christians follow, which is the Bible. Now, what happens is the Bible, this book is complete. It has, in the beginning, God created the world. It has that here, the beginning of the world. And then also at the end of the book, at the end of this Bible, is also Revelation, which is the end of the world. Now, isn't that typical of God? God who says, I know the end of the beginning. So here he is, he's given us a book that gives us the beginning, how the world started, takes us basically through the journey of uh, the Christian world, and then we uh, go to the New Testament, which is the Christian era, and then finally God talks about what's happening at the end of the world. This book, if you like, talks about the end of the world. It shows you the end of the world. Now, I've got a manuscript called uh, www.revelation you can understand, and I actually talk about what's actually happening in Revelation. And the foundation of everything is, if you want to save the planet, if that's what you're talking about, if you want to save the planet, what you need to do is get people to turn around. In other words, stop killing themselves. If you look at the world today, if you look at the world today, isn't it absolutely horrible? You go to Iraq, you go to Afghanistan, you go to Libya, you go to Syria, you go to Ukraine now. Doesn't matter where you go, there's trouble. And people are busy killing each other. And then we have people on the world, in the world today, who actually want to actually destroy all of us and force us, if you like, to follow something like Islam. Now, there's nothing wrong with saying you should be Islam. There's nothing wrong with saying you can be, should be a Buddhist or not, or Hinduism, or Catholic, or Baptist, or Methodist, Seventh-day Adventist. 
Jehovah Witness. No God. I don't believe in God. I don't God. There's nothing wrong with any individual saying, this is what I want to do in my life and this is what I want to follow. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with well, we talk about Islam, for instance. There's nothing wrong with being Islam. If people want to follow Islam, they can. They can follow the Koran if they like. There's no question about that. What happens, of course, is that in this world, there's this centre, a little black seed, if you like, that's actually sort of exploding about where they're actually trying to destroy people. Like for, for, for a group to say, Israel has no right to exist, how are they going to do that? How are they going to fix it up so that Israel no longer exists? Well, you know what they're talking about. They're talking of blowing everybody up. They're talking about killing everybody. Now, why would they do that? Why would they do that? That's the issue, isn't it? In the world today, there is an issue, and mankind is determined to destroy themselves. Now, in Revelation, in the book, this book here, in the end, somehow in the future, could be thousands of years away, could be 10,000 years, 30,000 years, 40,000 years in the future, somehow people, a group of people, countries, get underneath the free world that we enjoy. And basically, they destroy the world. That's basically what Revelation is about. And then in the end, God basically then comes on the scene right at the end, when the world is being blown up or got rid of, if you want, by this group of people. And that's what's happening today. <laughs> you probably say. Now, let's go back to the carbon tax. They want to save the planet for the future. Well, I agree with that. Go ahead and do all those things you want to do. The biggest thing at the moment is there is a big issue in this book. And this book shows you the demise, if you like, the destruction of mankind. Now, that's what's on here. It's written here, right at the end. Now, I know people destroy it. I know people go to Revelations. They do make stupid remarks about it. They do the wrong thing with it. I know they really do. Well, you're stuck with that. You're stuck with the fact that in the world today, there are thousands upon thousands of people who get hold of this Bible and basically destroy it. They take away the true message. But the message doesn't change, and all over the world there are people who basically stand up for this. Same as I do. I hold up for this. And what happens now, of course, God, as a Christian point of view, lives inside me, and it's the Holy Spirit that teaches me and teaches you. Millions of people are taught by God. Now, inside all this, in the world today, millions of Christians, there's also a core of people, a group of people, that basically can only be called false prophets, and they actually teach the wrong thing, and they actually destroy the book. They destroy the Bible, if you like. Now, the true message is this. <laughs> well, come on, listen to this, Hedrick, this is it. Okay, the big issue is the carbon tax <laughs> is out of Australia for a while. And what I'm trying to say is that if you want to save the world, listen to what God has to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Listen to God. And you know something, with God, who knows the end of the beginning, right at the Revelation, right at the end of Revelation, it actually tells you this here. These words are trustworthy and true. And the Bible, if you like, is showing us what is going to happen shortly. See? And these words are trustworthy and it's going to happen. And if you go to the Bible, if you go through the Bible, you will find prophecies fulfilled after fulfilled after fulfilled prophecy everywhere. God knows the end of the beginning. And that's what this book is about. God knows the end of the beginning and he has given you, if you like, the blueprint of what's going to happen to mankind. So yes, isn't it great? 
carbon tax. <laughs> I'll probably hit me over the head now because I know there's a whole group of people who believe that carbon tax should be there. I know that, I know that. But that's what the world's all about. You know, you're allowed to think different. I think different. Yes, I do. I do think different. I think different. But I am a serving, serving God. I'm serving the true and living God, which millions of you are. Millions of you are following the Lord Jesus Christ. Millions of you people are in the churches. I know that. And all the different denominations, whether it be the Baptists, whether it be the Presbyterians, whether it be uh, the Catholic, doesn't matter where you are, the Christian people are everywhere. And today God actually has his own people, and I'm one of them. Anyway, I'm going to finish this. That's ten minutes, man alive. You know how long that's going to take on YouTube? It'll take probably three hours for YouTube to process this ten minutes. It takes a long, long time, but YouTube does a good job. Anyway, have a run. Listen to Henry. Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? He says, oh, come on, Henry. Is Henry right? Oh, well, Henry's got the Bible. Is he right? My translation. Is it right? Isn't that amazing? Am I right? There are millions of people who read the same book here and who say things like, uh, oh, yes, there'll be a rapture. All of a sudden, uh, all the Christians will be raptured up. And then millions of people will die when, every, when everybody disappears from planes and cars and everything. And then they, people teach things like that God loses his patience in the New Testament. I don't think God loses patience at all. I think God is waiting for you, for people to repent and come to him. And Revelation takes you that. Even though the world is falling apart, God is still calling his people, come on, come to me and be saved, but they do not at all. They just keep going to the end and destroy themselves. They really do. Anyway, having said that, I am talking about the carbon tax removal in Australia. I am. But what I'm saying to you, we do want to save the world and our people a future on what we do. Well, if you do that, then listen to God. Listen to the living God that I serve and millions of people. Listen. This book's right, you know. It does. This, this book's right. <laughs> you don't believe any of that, do you? You know something? The world actually does not believe God even exists. And people also do not believe this is true here. Well, sub, 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 subsequently, of course, if they don't believe in God, they're certainly not going to take notice of this, are they? They're certainly not going to care about Jesus Christ, are they? They're not. But that is life. Anyway, look, <laughs> I've run up to 12 minutes. Now, very... yeah, that's the end. I'm not going to do any more. I actually want to do uh, uh, a bit of something else with, uh, with uh, uh, shopping carts that I want to do. But I am now going to fix up my, end my uh, YouTube here with you. Remember what I said? Carbon tax has been removed. Great. You and Australia be happy. Half the world is happy. The other half are not happy. But think about the future of mankind. And God offers you something. He tells you what's going to happen if mankind does not change its way, if people do not obey. And if you look at the world today, you can see. It's quite terrible, isn't it? Anyway, I'll see you later. I'll catch you next time. What I want to do is talk about... Oh, I think I've got to stop this. I think I'm destroying up my... No, I think stop with you.